Do you ever have the drive to go outside and paint and capture these beautiful landscapes, but you're afraid? You're afraid of people watching you. You're afraid of judgment by people who you don't even know. This is a very natural feeling, especially when we're going outside to paint for the first time in front of people, or when we're exposing ourselves and our skills in a way we never have before. A lot of our fears are based in our own self-perception of who we are. What what happens if we fail? How do we define failure? For me, failure is a lack of trying. Anytime I put myself out there and I do something that's aligned with what I want to do, I don't consider that a failure. In the traditional sense, I consider it a stepping stone for where I want to go, even if it's not turning out the way I want it to turn out. So my failures have become just stones on the path. Our paths are so long and so full of different steps and dirts and tree roots and scenery and all kinds of stuff. And one failure is just another rock on that same path. It's not something to stop you. It's something to overcome and become stronger because you did. Failure is when I stand in one place and I see the rock and I stop myself because I see the rock. So if I ever see myself not paint something the way I want to paint it or not be as skilled as someone else or if something doesn't turn out the way I want it to turn out, that failure, that's only a final failure if I let that stop me. And to relate it to painting outside, if someone comes up to me and tells me my painting is bad or my technique is off or I'm using the wrong colors, which people have actually come up to me and said that to me before. I've had people comment that they don't like my style or they think I should be using different colors or they're giving me unsolicited advice. And I kind of just let it flow off of me because within criticism, there can be actual room for improvement. So I take what they say. I say, thank you for your opinion. Opinion. Thank you for your perspective. But I don't change what I'm doing in the moment. I sit on it and I consider what they're saying. And if what they're saying is something that would actually benefit me and my art, I'm like, okay, that criticism was warranted. And I actually listen to it and a change accordingly. But most of the time, I don't change what I'm doing at all because I know the path that I'm on is the path that I want to be on. That the style that I'm using is the style that I want, even if that's not what everyone else wants. My style is not everyone's cup of tea. No one's style is everyone's cup of tea. So I have to look at those judgments and consider whether or not I actually want to listen to them. So that fear of judgment is lessened by the idea that when people do judge me, I can choose whether or not to actually listen to that and apply it to my art. And if I let that judgment stop me, that's a failure. One of the pieces of advice I see when people consider the fear of judgment is the idea that no one's talking about you. Don't worry about it. They're not talking about you. But sometimes they are. It's true. No one's ever talking about anyone all the time. But it is true that sometimes people will talk behind your back. It is true that sometimes people will have negative things to say about you. And rather than thinking that that doesn't exist and that that doesn't happen, I like to consider it as it will happen and I'm going to do what I'm doing regardless. It's looking at why they're talking about me behind my back. And it's usually a them problem, not a me problem. I can't control what anyone else says. You can't control what anyone anyone else says and to intentionally turn away from the truth that sometimes people talk about you will make you less resilient when that actually happens when you actually find out someone was talking about you behind your back or in front of your face or whatever it is to become resilient to that you have to accept that as a potential truth and go forward with the knowledge that if someone does that here is my reaction to that here's what it means to me when someone does that the way I relate personally to that is that I used to think everyone's always judging me for everything I'm doing. I felt so nervous around people. I felt like I was always doing something wrong. And I went through this phase of like, oh, don't worry. No one's talking about me. And I was like trying to convince myself of this positivity mindset of like, oh, don't worry. No one's ever looking at you. No one's ever judging you. And then when it did happen, when I did find out someone was talking smack behind my back, it would hurt so much because it would invalidate my entire paradigm 
time around it. So what I've done is I've just accepted sometimes people talk about me. My reaction to that is what I choose to do. And that has lifted so much of my fear of judgment off of my back. And it's helped me go outside to paint. As long as I know I'm doing what is right in the moment for my art and my creativity, and for the direction I want to go in life, that fear of judgment does not stop me. Another fear that stops people from publicly showing their skills or going outside and painting when they really, really want to do that is the fear of just being bad in general. The fear that we're not as talented as we think we are, that there's always someone better than us who is standing over our shoulder and that we don't deserve to go outside and do what we're doing. The honest truth is that there is no barrier to going outside with a sketchbook or a canvas and creating what's in front of you. There is no rational barrier to you becoming that person. Whether you have no experience, one year experience, 10 years of experience, there is no rubric saying, hey, you can't go outside and draw if you don't have two years of experience. It's not a job application. It is your free time in what you wanna do. And as long as you're not intruding on other people's space or you're not breaking the rules of that nature area, you are allowed to be there and you are allowed to sit with nature the way that you want to sit with nature. So if you want to go outside and paint, this is your permission. If you're still afraid, research a spot that's not as much in the way of other people. It's more private and build up to these more popular areas. And to be honest, about 95% of the people that come up to me have nothing but positive energy to give me actually creates conversations with them where a lot of the people that come up to me are artists themselves, are people who want to do what I'm doing. And I'm telling you, you can do it. I'm not special. There's no qualification that I have that you don't that would prevent you from doing what I'm doing. There is no barrier to entry except for yourself. If fear comes up, acknowledge that fear, but don't let it run your life. Do the things you want to do regardless. And it is going to feel uncomfortable to do things with fear, but that's the only way to grow. Do not wait for fear to leave your body before you put yourself out there and do the things you want to do. If you want to go out and paint, but something is still stopping you, I would love to hear about it. I would love to help you do what you want to do and use me as an example of someone who has no outstanding qualifications 